by seeing Buddy Holly, of course, in 1958. Although at that time I was a guitarist, bass guitars fascinated me, absolutely. I remember particularly going to see The Shadows. No, going to see the Cliff and the Drifters. This was, must get this right, the uh, delineation there. At the um, Chiswick Empire, way back in the early Pink Jacket days, and Chet was up there playing again that frame of star bass, which I, I kind of like uh, go on about. And I thought that was such a great instrument. I, we, we ran home, told the others in our skiffle group that we wanted the guy to play bass. And uh, for the moment, he'd have to play it on the bottom strings of a, a six string guitar. But eventually we did get one. And of course, eventually I switched over to the bass guitar. And I never started off with that Framus or even um, a Fender Precision bass. But at home, I have a Framus Star bass hanging in my wall, a very, very early model, just like Jess. And I bought it because it is so, um, you know, just it's so typical of those times. It's it's one of those instruments that means an awful lot to me. The sight of it is such a romantic sight. I wanted one. I bought one. It hangs there, and it's it's just a part of my youth. I'm buying up my youth, and uh, that instrument and Jet Harris are very much a part of what bass player was all about for me. Jet's bass playing, both on record and 